Would you like me to teach you something? Sure. Recording now. Have you uh, bled brake fluid on a vehicle before? Yeah, the one time with you. Okay. It was it. Yeah. Oh, it was your car. Yeah, it was my car. Okay, so bleeding brakes on a vehicle, uh, traditional wisdom was that you're supposed to bleed from the furthest wheel and then you come to the vehicle. So from the driver or from the uh, master uh, cylinder. master cylinder okay. compartment. So in this case, people would say something like, start there and then bleed that and then this and then this, okay. right? Sort of. And kind of, sort of, it is. But in actuality, um, the farthest from the vehicle thing sometimes works accidentally. <laughs> In this case, it works because the correct uh, bleeding sequence for this vehicle is number one, that. Number two, this one here. Mm -hmm. Surprise, the closest one, right? Mm -hmm. Number three, back that one over there. Mm -hmm. Number four, this one here, right? Mm -hmm. So this one that's the closest to the mass of cylinder is actually the second one. Let me explain why. So a vehicle has two circuits. In a massive cylinder, do you see you've got two tubes coming out of there? Yeah. Two tubes going into two places on the ABS control, ABS module. Uh -huh. Okay. And I'll explain. The reason is your vehicle has two circuits, two um, brake circuits. If you cut a brake line over here, you're not, ideally, you're not going to lose braking capacity all over because you're leaking fluid all over. This one circuit here, I can't remember the front one versus the back one. I can't remember which one goes where. But what happens is that these two serve crisscross. These two, this one is a front one because I can see this one here. If this is a front brake, I'm going to guess that this one is a back right. Oh, okay. And think about it this way, right? When you're going, when you're driving, and then you lose braking over here. You know, you lose someone cuts a line and that line was supplying here unfortunately or fortunately it's going to lose this one as well yeah. but because these are on, on the same circuit yeah. you still have a front brake and, and a yeah. rear brake yeah. and then you want them to be on opposite sides so that the vehicle kind of yeah. balances out if they were both on the same side you would lose basically you'll only have brakes on one side and when you brake it's pretty much going the other side so you want to have it opposite to balance out okay. so that is how they're set up in here the m45 actually had it labeled and i think that abs module is so far away right now but this one doesn't it doesn't label it here but as i said you can figure it out so when you do a brake bleed what you do is you serve the circuits first so we're going to do circuit one which is this one here and this one here, right? Bleed this, then bleed this. You bleed the one from the um, from the farthest end still, right? Mm -hmm. So this one is farther from the front. Bleed this, then this. Then you come to do the second circuit. Bleed this, then this one here. And usually that should be it. Obviously when you have sport calipers like this one here, you remember to do it on both the inner and the outer. But um, uh, we, we saw on, um, there was a discussion with uh, someone based in the UK saying, hey, since my vehicle is right-hand drive, what's the correct brake bleeding sequence, right? How exactly should I do it? What are you thinking? Opposite? First, second, yeah. third, fourth? I said, you know, that's the best we can assume uh -huh. because we did not have the service manual for the UK, but I said, how about this? Just do it twice. And we said, so right now, it's usually, the way uh, Nissan says it, it's right rear then um left front then left rear then right front i said okay we think your correct method is going to be uh left we said what left rear right mm -hmm. then right front then right rear then left front that's what it's supposed to be. But I said, you know what? If in doubt, just bleed it twice. Because when you follow this method twice, whichever way you go at it, it's, uh, you know, right rear, left front, left rear, right front. And then you repeat it again. When you, By the time you're repeating it again, you're pretty much 
it's like you're cutting it in half, you know, mm -hmm. because left rear, right front, left rear, right front. Like when you do it twice, you're, you're overlapping it. And this guy was pretty intent in doing it the correct way. Most people just use that old school mentality, like, hey, just bleed the back, bleed the front. And it works if you think about it, because you're working with different circuits anyway. If I bleed this, then this, it's kind of like bleeding this taking a long time before I get here, you know, you're still bleeding the circuits differently. And it works. Some people, especially these, uh, the M's, some people have said, I bled it the old school way and my brakes were feeling like crap. So I had to follow the direct, the correct sequence for you to work properly. And they, some of them say, it's, you know, the difference is dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, I usually say the most important thing is just make sure while bleeding, don't run your mess, your master cylinder don't run your reservoir dry because once you you know introduce air pockets you pretty much have some air that still needs to be and the whole point of bleeding air is air um can be compressed so mm -hmm. that's softness in the brake pedal so so in today's video you'll be in the vehicle you will be start uh you'll start the vehicle yeah we changed the oil made sure of this oil i usually leave my key over here if you know i'm changing oil and stuff I leave my key in a very odd place that ideally you look at it like, why is a key there? Because it's, you know, there's something going on. But, um, so you'll be pumping it mm -hmm. and I'll be cracking the bleeder valves open and uh, bleeding them of air. And I'll be running back here and checking. And as I said, we need to open the door. Oh, and they usually tell you this when um, you're about to bleed um, ABS abs uh, systems or rather brake systems you're supposed to disconnect the abs module because you know from it doing it's wanting to do its thing so i disconnected it here you can disconnect um oh yeah over here this is the only way to do it just disconnect that because you disconnect the battery i mean pretty much killing other systems so yeah pull the connector and we're about to go ahead and do a thing